Hello Circlers, it's the 4th of March, 2012. This week we're spreading Olympic fever, spying on the people that are spying on you, and celebrate a basketball anniversary like no other. I'm Sonia Autry, rocking out another episode of Circle Sunday. We're kicking things off this week with a look forward. The 2012 Olympics are almost upon us and that means it's time to start decorating London. A time-lapse video made its way around Google Plus this week showing the construction of the Olympic symbol. The iconic five ring logo for the games will be shipped on the River Thames to its final destination for the start of the games in July. You know what else is special about 2012? That's right, it's a leap year. But what does it actually mean to have a leap year? Well, for those of you out there who would like a little more information, we've got just the video for you. This video covers everything from the first discovery of the need for a leap year, leaplings, and how a calendar will eventually fall right back out of whack again. Some G Plus users decided to make the most out of their extra calendar day this year. Lifehacker posted an article this week about a program known as Collusion for your Firefox web browser. The program is designed to provide a clear and interactive map detailing what websites are tracking your activity. Now the sites and services tracking the web browsing can't actually just lay in the weeds and start sending you ads for your favorite candy bar without you knowing about it. A fellow Plus crowd of ours has created an online network of live shows and on-demand television and radio. Go check out clubzone.fm and shows like The Morning After Show. Have you ever been carded at a club or a bar? What if you forgot your ID at home? It used to be that if you couldn't present a proper ID, you had no shot of getting in. Well now, Google's got your back. You can now create your own Google Plus ID card, complete with your name, location, and date you that you joined Google Plus, and even a QR code that will direct the scanner straight to your G Plus page. Just be sure that you have your profile say that you're 21 or over, and the bouncers and bartenders won't even give you a second thought. Just kidding. Now for something a little less fanciful. This week marked the 50th anniversary of Wilt Chamberlain's amazing performance against New York. It was on March 2nd, 1962 that the great Chamberlain scored 100 points, grabbed 25 rebounds, and still find time, found time to dish out two assists. No player since has come within 15 points of the record. Even more impressive is that of the top 10 points total, damn it, son of a bitch. Even more impressive is that of the top 10 point totals by a single player will appear six separate times scoring over 70 points in each effort. We close this week out with a cool new gadget. The cotton candy computer is now available for pre-order. The computer is the size of a USB drive and contains enough processing power to handle high quality video images. Just get just to get a feel for how epic this truly is, go watch the original Tron movie and see the size of the machines people had to work with back in the day. And each of those towers holds only a fraction of the processing power of this new gadget. Simply awesome. If you're browsing around Google Plus this week, be sure to circle the Podsmith's brand page. It's where you can get links to all of our shows, Coffee Jive, Dine and Sign, and even The Accidental Philosopher. I'm Sonia Autry, and I'll circle you back again next week. <laughs>